Hi, I'm Felicia. You're gonna start? Okay, good. And I'm Giancarlo. <laughs> and this is our review of... Mr. Card Game. Mr. Card Game is a deck building slash RPG game. In the box you'll get three decks of stat cards numbered one to four, melee in pink, magic in blue, and charisma in green, a deck of skill cards which contains spells, songs, and special abilities, a deck of monster cards of different elements with items in the back as rewards for killing them, map cards to set up locations and hide monsters underneath them, newbie gear cards which will be your starting gear, meat tokens which is the currency in the game, and finally some boss cards which are what you need to kill to win the game. The game ends when a player has defeated the final boss. Here's how to set up. Place the stat cards like so, except the number ones. Place nine map cards to form a grid. Each monster has a map in the background of their image. Match each monster with the location cards. Place those monsters under their map card. Place a boss card on the tower card next to the nine locations. Now take the bottom monster of each location and place it above the map card. This is done so that the players can look at the monster card without revealing the monster card underneath it. Shuffle all the skill cards and place it next to the playing area like so. Flip over four cards to form the training area. Each player now receives a set of noob items which include a sword, hat, and shorts. The first player will also get the special certificate card. Each player also gets speed tokens depending on where they are sitting around the table. As a starting deck, each player will get four cards of power one from each of the stats. So your starting deck will look like this. Shuffle all the cards and draw six cards from your deck. You're now ready to kill some monsters, become stronger, and go for the boss. On your turn you have two phases, non-combat and combat. During the non-combat you can equip your guy with items but only one of each type of item. The items which are not equipped are turned sideways. You can sell items to get some meat tokens. You can buy cards from the training area or the top card of the discard pile which goes into your playing area when bought. The cost of each card tells you how much meat you have to pay to train that skill. You can activate buffs by paying the stat required. When you activate a buff, turn it sideways to show that it's active. If you do not buy a skill during this phase, the oldest card is discarded and your new one is revealed. Basically, during the non-combat phase, you're buying stuff and preparing your character to kill a monster in the playing area. In the combat phase, you choose a monster on the playing area and try to defeat it using your equipment, skills, and stat cards from your hand. Choose which type of attack you want to use. It can be melee, magic, chatting, or even evade, which is the defensive attack. Add up all your powers from your chosen type of attack, and if you are equal to or greater than the monster, you take the reward behind that monster you killed and a stat card as well. The stat card you used goes into your discard pile and you draw back up to 6 cards. A new monster is revealed at that location and the next player takes his turn. If you ever need to draw a card from your deck but don't have enough cards, you level up. You can now trade in a stat card to get one higher value from the stat cards. Or you can trade in a stat card for another stat card of the same value from a different type of stat. This also deactivates all your buffs. So as you're playing the game, you acquire better items, better skills, and better stats. When the player with the certificate starts his turn, another player can scream, I storm the tower. When this happens, each player will get one non-combat phase, and then each player will attack the boss. The player who defeats the boss with the most damage wins the game. This is usually called by a player who has at least enough to beat the boss. Mr. Card Game is based on an online MMO, and if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check it out at kingdomofloathing.com. The game itself is very simple, but the rulebook makes it so much harder to play and understand. They talk about elements and defense, but do not go into details about it. The rulebook is utter garbage, and it tries really hard with images in the sample round and just fails miserably. Thank God we've played deck building games before and understood the mechanics of it, but if a new deck building player tries to read these rules, he'll play wrong for sure. The graphic design of the game is nice, but not the actual artwork, obviously. The game comes with card separators in case you want to separate your cards, but they have no way of actually working inside the game box. There are variant rules and keywords which you can play with, but you'll have to go online for those as well. The meat tokens stack nicely, so that's a plus, but the gameplay is just not satisfying. You can't screw over your friends, we've had one game where the player who won wasn't even trying. 
There is some funny cards, which will give you the occasional laugh, but the setup is long, separating the monster each game is long, and we just did not feel like doing it all over again to play. There is just way too many deck building games out there who do the job so much better than this one. The one mechanic we found cool was the map card hiding the card underneath it. But that's it. There is nothing innovative about it. It had potential, but as is, it's getting 5.5 useless dividers out of 10.